Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to, I will say it for the first time, beat the game or at least get to Waterworld <clears throat> on what I would consider the hardest difficulty that has ever been played in XCOM. Double enemy squad size, uh, yellow alert and a hundred mods that all make our life a living hell. Most of them debuff us and make the aliens really, really, really strong. Today we have another auto-lose mission, which I'm trying to still uh, attend in the best spirit, Operation uh, Demon Dragon. We have 42 enemies and there is a large hive swarm siege happening here. Chrysalids Chameleons, Advent Exalted Custodian Grandmasters, Collectors, uh, really a lot of advent exalted custodians and if we can at least kill everyone then that would be a huge advantage um, i'm still torn in between what i will do the newcomers are going to get onto this mission what i've uh, what i've uh, decided so far is bring a lot of healing bring a lot of turrets so that we can uh, that we can cheese the enemies um, bring some ammunition, I think that's a fair idea, but I'm also torn whether or not I should bring maybe a battle scanner. The advantage of a battle scanner would be that we, I think, can at least find the chameleons and um, help us to prevent some of the damage at least. I will bring a refraction field again, which makes uh, Timbit here our scout. Uh, two times resells isn't too bad for reusable item i actually start to appreciate it a lot if you don't have a reaper uh, this here gives you a good two uh, phantom uh, charges if you put phantom on top of it say if we were to give uh, him a bit of extra phantom then it would be even three charges so i like it that's good uh, that's more than decent we got Golden Boy here, our only dragon rounds. Uh, I put a mine shield in here for good measure, you never know. Uh, it doesn't look like there is a lot, but maybe one of uh, the Hive drones can mind control. Maybe I'm actually going to switch this out for a battle scanner. Thinking about how we can I deal with that uh, weapon upgrades here I think look fine okay for now I think everybody is uh, decently equipped this team will not stand a chance but with the necessary extra firepower we might be able to dig in and hold our ground for enough rounds to at least kill some of uh, the alien scum and if it gets too wild we will evac and just accept the loss, I suppose. All right, join me in what is going to be a bloodbath. Good, we landed. Let's take a look. First and foremost, we did not get a double agent. It was to be expected because the only double agents that we could have gotten were Advent Exalted Custodians. Would have been awesome to have one of these guys on our side for once. A little bit of a 60 hit point machine moving forward. Good. Okay. Good boy. Timid moves up rather. Sets up a turret over there. I think we're already we're already well aware that we need a turret on that rooftop. Wilson moves into full cover. Next turn he can set up the turret there. And we got some high ground over here, which I think we'll use to our advantage. Again, thinking about it, it might be the best to really just stick with that high ground. Good to go. 
getting the movable turrets out now. And at the mean, uh, meantime... Oh, that was a misclick. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't matter for now. Like you gotta be a bit more careful. Those misclicks can cost you dearly. Good. Aviator, high ground, good for shredding. For now, I would just overwatch with these selected turrets. And then we're slowly but surely going to like move forward here. That abandoned street looks awesome. Alright, we already found quite a few chrysalids. What we could try to do is get into concealment and actually rescue a few civilians. Could be a bit of a dangerous game. And it's not as good with a with an assault as it is with a Reaper, of course. I think I'll, I will pull over Wilson to the other side so that we do have high ground with a sniper. On the other hand, since we're fighting against chrysalids, might as well stay on the top of the car. Our only saving grace so far is the aliens seem to not have uh, detected the civilians yet. And since there is not a resistance force that is activating all of the pots automatically, we might get away with just rescuing. Lots of background movement. 42 enemies are crazy if you think about it. Not even going to mention the Advent Custodians. Speaking about which, we hear them. And I was wrong. I was so wrong. They have now started to activate the chrysalids. Well, good fucking job. I don't think that anyone here will have the firepower to take on a swarm of chrysalids. It's just not happening. And unless they are focusing down that brood mother, this is going to be over very, very, very quickly. Good. So, resistance activities. I, I wish the AI f of the resistance fighters would be a tiny bit better. Good, let's see what else. Resistance activity somewhere, somehow. Okay, so what we're going to do is making ourselves invisible for now. And Timbit will try his very best to just rescue. Oh, 
How far can we throw that? Should be fine from here. Let's move up to the car. Very good. So, we got one turret here. Looks a bit stupid on an RV, but... What can you do? Function over form, I guess. Sell it to turret. Moves up as well. Golden boy, careful, advance. Here I come. More turrets. Going to be the name of the game here. More turrets. All right, are we placing the second turret already? Oh, yeah, let's not do that yet. I think for now, moving to here, it's okay. I'm just trying to get everybody in position. Nope. Don't attack yet. couple of overwatches. They are not triggered. Now they are, because they've spotted out the resistance fighters. And there we go. Created the first zombie. Perfect. Well, great. More chrysalid cocoons. What could possibly go wrong? I think now is the time to rescue civilians. Or maybe get the fuck out of there. I don't know. We've rescued one civilian so far. Five to go in order to win this. Oh boy, chrysalids are well and awake. Short of a kill zone or death from above, I don't know how we are going to deal with them. Need to retreat and get a good solid base going. This will be the first test whether or not we can withstand the kind of first wave of the swarm. Uh, there is a second and a third and a fourth wave coming. It's 
just uh, the the taste of what is going to happen very soon. Luckily, I brought turrets for some extra firepower. Which should compensate for our distinct lack of death from above. And I guess the resistance fighters will do what they are always doing, which is a big, fat, solid nothing. Not even sure if we can rescue more civilians now. I was, my hope was that we could like get into those cluster of civilians, the three or four there, um, rescue all four of them, and then somehow make it to two more civilians. But we do not have the movement rate for it. Ah, that's unfortunate. Good, I'll fast forward that here. There is not much... Oh, wait. There is something happening. An Advent Exalted Custodian just went on to Overwatch and killed one of the Resistance Fighters. Well, well this whole mission is so unbelievably lopsided. It doesn't even matter that their weapons now deal six points of damage. Because soon each of uh, the civilians that is hunkering down here, they are, the only chance of the civilians would be to literally double move and run towards us. Alright, we're starting over here. Starting with an infector. Before we're killing something, let's... Seven to nine, that should be a kill. Good. So two of these unfortunate creatures are already down. Nice little quick hands, I like it. I mean, look, we can go in and rescue a second one. Point being, if we're not aggressively pushing forward, then it's never happening. I don't, uh, I don't see how we could ever have a chance of of going through this. Nice little breakthrough, by the way, for snipers. Two extra points of damage. I think I need death from above, but we don't have that yet. Might as well Wilson use him for now to dish out enough damage. I think we're going to use a protocol, give someone an overwatch. And that someone is going to be Timbit, because we're now going to go in. And Timbit might be the one that is under fire the most. Second thing is... Nice little positioning of our own turret over here. Wow, we got a lot of units to deal with. A chameleon is a problem. Let's start with it. Didn't work, 60% shot, not good enough. Try it again. Alright, 
we could counter it with This year, I suppose. Let's double check if that actually does what I think it does. Well, it reveals them, so counterplay detected. Also figured out that we don't work with a faceless one. Good. We're moving over here with Aviator. Run and gun. Let's do this. And this is potentially not a hit, but might as well kill that zombie. Good lord. Well done, golden boy. Alright, we're overperforming to what I think would have happened. Closing on target position now. We're rescuing the other guy soon. Imid runs in, that's good. Or suicidal, depending on how you look at it. Pinrot has a decent aim. Too far away is the problem. Too far away, the Overwatch wouldn't hit. But what we could do is we could move to here and Overwatch, and that will help us at least. Celeted turrets unfortunately do not have um, the ability to squad side. Nice hit. Uh, where's the best position? This year. Timbit. You're safe. Now get moving. Overwatch me. Good, we have a couple of overwatches. I doubt all of them will work. It is XCOM at the end of the day. But I at least we know where the chameleon is. Wow, eight points of damage. That's more than I would have expected. Nice hit, come on. Luckily, their uh, to hit chance isn't that good, so we're looking at 50 50s mostly. Still good, still good. Nice, nice. I imagine him just standing there with his massive shield and the uh, aliens are coming from left and from right. Chrysler de Brute Mother. Well, now they surrounded him, finally. Oh, 
That is not good. Removing the armor from the turret is actually bad. Turret sort of counters uh, some of uh, the chrysalids. Lots of armor and you just can't uh, poison them. Okay, the, look, the first round went better than I would have expected. Luckily, we have enough hit points to withstand that first assault. And we really made it difficult and tried to counter the chrysalids as much as we can with uh, 8 protocol. Which is good. I mean, they have less than a 50% hit chance. This here is our next target. That's where we need to go. We need to continue getting civilians. It's our only way of progressing. Once we do have six civilians, things can slow down a bit. One, two, three. We got three, so there is still a chance. As long as we offer targets for the chrysalids, we're also making our life uh, funny enough easier. Might not uh, see it that way yet, but every single civilian that they kill is just going to be more um, more chrysalids. Nice. A hybrid. These guys are fast, super strong, and you don't want to deal with them. Now would be the right time to have the um, Bladestorm just standing in the middle there <laughs> and um, putting out quite a bit of damage. Say if Sona would be there with, um, with Arashi. And the upgrade, 11 to 12 points of damage after the sword upgrade. 100% hit chance. They would flock around Sonar. But they would not stand a chance. Sure, have maybe used Hellweave Vest by thinking about it. Well, in hindsight, you can always take another cool uh, item. But I think the ones that we've taken so far already worked out relatively well. No, 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 no. Uh, we... Alright, that's not how it works, apparently. Um... Timid, my man. You could almost reach it if this chrysalid would die, right? Right. Okay. Well, we're moving up. Finally. Golden Boy will tank a bit as well. This could be a kill. And would you know it, that too. is a kill. Good, Timber. Still can't reach it. Hmm. Moving out. The reason why I move out there, we can still try to get the civilians next. The reasons why I move out there is. I think the best course of action is likely to flashbang or to really use a grenade. The flashbang has a distinct advantage, but so does the grenade.
good. We're moving as close as possible. And I think that's the better call. Flashbang can happen later. Can also be safe for the custodians. Which is why I originally took it, by the way. Sell it to turrets. Move up. These are new ones, by the way. I created a few MK3 turrets. Now these here are only great MK2. Well, this could be a kill. Good. I want the other selected turret. Let's kill that little ripper because it is a problem. The brute mother should not be able to kill us right away. All right, light damage. That is not good enough. Uh, we do have the option. Four individual pistols. Ten points of damage with a crit. Holy shit, my man. That was a good hit. Wilson. Shows them how it's done. Good, very good. Drangs moves up, can hit next turn. Eight protocol in terms of an extra overwatch and harder to hit for Timbit. Shinrod also overwatches. Let's hopefully kill. Those guys are nasty. Good. She leaves only one hunter and we have a few overwatch shots. Overall, ah, too bad. That was a miss. But luckily, the other Overwatch shots were on point. So that was overall good. Uh, that's like what? 9, 8 or 9 um, chrysalids? Then wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 8 with. 8 uh, with uh, the hybrid. We lost our first turret. Not optimal. The usefulness of the turret though would go down over time. As it is further and further away from the actual targets. Well, fantastic. See, that's what you get for fucking around with the chrysalids. If you would have just stayed put did nothing um, that would be absolutely fine or even better move in our direction so that we can get you out of here i don't get the civilians like imagine if you find yourself in an absolute war zone there are massive aliens that shove eggs into your mouth people are starting to become a zombie would you just sit there and cower down is is that really a realistic 
a realistic um, action that anyone would take. You would maybe go into one of the cars, that tank here, for instance, and drive it away, or one of the other cars, or, here's a pro tip, you would just run away. What the fuck is happening? All right, we got to deal with this. Uh, the brood mother needs to die next turn. That's highest priority. The other brood mother potentially as well. These guys are just too fast and too furious. I don't feel so good. Now is the wrong time for a panic, dude. That costs us another turn. Double move. I think the Selected Turret here will also die soon, but I needed to tank for now. And that Chrysalid Brute Mother needs to die. Exploding that whole car would be fine. Chrysalid Hunters need to die. But they are only five, only five hit points, six hit points. But we're also out of eight protocols. Tough round, guys, tough round. Okay, after thinking a little bit about that, uh, whenever you are in such a dire problem, it helps to think clearly about the main topics that you need to do. Number one, we got to revive Shinrod so that we actually have as many actions as possible during this turn. Good. Number two, we got to deal with these guys here. 9 to 11 is substantial damage, so let's take that one. Good. Fucking shot, Jurangs. Love it. And like I mentioned, the Brood Mother needs to die. Dodged it down to 1 HP. Not good. Can we somehow reach it when moving over here? I think the answer is yes. I'm just trying to get Wilson to the high ground, moving away from the flank that is about to be destroyed. All right, if it's just a ripper, unfortunately a no-go. Okay. Well, we had one of our salad turrets here. Can't really hit these. Aviator begins to move up and we could hit them. I think Shinrod is still the best option here. Good mother is down. That small one is still alive, which really sucks. Reloading. Not sure what we're doing with the Selected yet. Getting the small rippers away.
Hunter is the bigger problem. Mm. Quite a really good shot. That's a no-no. It's a second no-no. We could rescue the civilian here, which I think we're going to do. Don't take it as a foregone conclusion. It's really helpful to have more civilians. And of course, more crystals. Could hit all of uh, them for six points of damage. Before we do that, though, let's injure the queen, the brood mother here, as much as possible. The hunters still are a problem. But all of them have technical analysis on them, which means they cannot move that far. Piff's civilian rescued. And I will set these guys up for next round. We're likely going to take some damage, but we should all overall be fine. We need healing badly. There is no more overwatch. That Celeti turret likely is going to die. Well, maybe it survives. In case you wonder why I'm still pushing onwards, there's really only one way we can go about this. And that is straight towards the aliens. I, I don't see another option. We need to get that uh, extra civilian. Thanks uh, to tactical analysis, these guys cannot attack if I'm far away. So that really was a flash of insight move that away we have minimized it to only the chrysalid hunters which are not hitting for that much another brood mother which is a problem i potentially will use the flashbang here because too many enemies I would love not to use the flashbang, but I think that's the only chance that we do have. Heavy fire in this zone. That and just keeping the turret stable. Our left flank, which is only held by that one celeted uh, turret, is soon going to um, disappear. And our right flank here is currently very much overrun. Critical hit, but not a kill. I think we can be poisoned though, so that might be a kill. Would be good to still have two shots that could get the brute mother down and the infector low. Okay, this is bad. Good, we gotta heal Golden Boy. Incoming fire. I'm 
This is where the rubber hits the road, guys. We now need to withstand the second wave. However, if we can withstand this... Oh boy, we definitely need to heal Golden Boy. If we can withstand that onslaught... I think the mission, at least from a account of civilians, is winnable. Whether or not we can clear it, that's a completely different story. save our um, protocol do we leave him with that many uh, th that low amount of hit points I think we must reload for the sellated turret Let's get that ripper away. Okay, that worked. Starting to kill the hunters. All right, over here, sell it the turret. Good mother, come on. I think it it's done. We can heal it and try to let it take think one more hit. Question is, is that going to be a waste? I think there is always a chance for a miss and then maybe it can take one more round. I would have really wanted to kill that brute mother. On the flip side, what we could do is secure that left flank, so to speak. Kill the brute mother, I think that's the right call. Wilson gets a hair trigger, free action. Nice. Two eighty percent shot misses. That's unlucky. Tough spot here. I still keep uh, that aid protocol close to uh, close to my hand. Is there another civilian? Currently, apparently not. I mean, what we could do, right? Yes, we could actually move to here. I think that's the right call. And then flashbang. This will create distance. Oh. Trying to put the sellated turret in the front line here. Who's keeping score? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that could reach all of them. Aviator moves further back. And this might be a life saving flashbang. Imposes a penalty on all of them and disorients them, plus apparently deals some damage. Let's see if that strategy works out. Just start trying to stay in the game here, guys. Uh, these chrysalids are horrible. And to make matters worse, they are, of course, sprinting up. Good, they decide to go for drinks. Can't, can't fault them for that. And for the turret. Didn't really work out in their favor either. The next turn, all of them need to die, or we do have a problem, or most of them need to die, or we do have a problem. Good mother with its huge movement range. I think it can still attack. By the way, I but yeah, not sure if it has hit. Potentially not. Anyways, what I was about to say, I think that the brood mother is coded incorrectly. Uh, it is supposed to have ten movement, but it is acting as if it would have fifty. more really good we gotta destroy that bulk up here aoe damage would be nice a nice little null lens through all of them gone shred storm cannon double grenade remote start anything but we don't have those tools all we have is a dream and a couple of guns All right, we're still tanking that one in factor, which in fact is helpful. Yeah, that will be another hybrid. Or just jump into the fire and burn yourself. Gosh, we are so screwed. On many, many levels, that is. If we kill the zombie now, it will not become 
and hybrid uh, a hybrid one next turn. Let's get rid of it. Of course, one point of damage shy. That could be a kill. leave the small ones that could be a kill down to one HP But I think we need to kill both of uh, them. Wilson moves up. Not too shabby. Unfortunately, he does not have face off, which now would be another way of solving this particular problem. Drenks cannot die, so since he will potentially be the one under fire the most, we're giving ourselves an aid protocol. Rippers are irrelevant. I think the Brood Mother is a problem as well, but I think the Infectors might actually be a bigger problem. Kills is what counts. Need to reload with Shinrod. Food Mother is a problem. We already established that. Reloading. Trying to minimize uh, the number of attacks that we could get by moving next to another soldier. Would kill that infector over here. I'm moving to here and just shooting it. Highly uncomfortable situation here. All right, this guy needs to die. I think we've been reasonably successful in getting these guys down. Now Golden Boy has a problem. 
not many hit points so we're going to move him in the middle uh, this is actually really only attackable by uh, from one from two angles there's a chance for crit here could be a kill doesn't help us if 90 plus percent shots are missing it's another overwatch with a chrysalid infector happening but unlikely to to kill we're going to take damage the question is just how much Luckily, we have cleaned out quite a few enemies up here. And that was not a crit. The turret is still intact. That's great. Timbit is still tanking this. The guy deserves a medal for this run. All right. That's a problem. Okay, we need to heal that up. No! The little ripper has killed the turret. That's two shots per round gone. And it was a really, really solid unit. Yeah. As I was saying, we're going to lose someone. Is this uh, not a question? If it's more question when but we're still holding firm against the chrysalids very tight uh, situation I think we can clean most of this next turn most of it come on miss Well, rip. That's another turret that was killed. So we're really down to one turret. But it all almost feels like wave two is the strongest that we have fought so far. Not sure. There are still a lot of civilians left over and we're just one civilian shy of, uh, of winning this. So, we potentially need to counter heal a bit. And we need to get away from the low ground. This here doesn't look too bad. There's only one, two, three other spots that we can get attacked from. Moving, out. Moving up with Timbit. 100, 100. Let's first of all heal. We got a nice delayed protocol here, theoretically. Wilson also needs healing. I think what we will do is we're double healing. Timid is almost full. And Wilson down here gets another healing. Uh, the, the main thing is we need to prevent that anyone is dying this turn. Alright, one shot. One opportunity. Cool. That's a good start. down to three that is fortunate good but with another hit that is a good outcome let's try to kill the brute mother holy shit critical hit love it whilst we are at it uh timid here timbit 
is going to get an 8 protocol with threat assessment, so that's one extra shot right here. Could hit a couple of these guys. Selected turret. Hmm, what are we going to do with you? Moving over here mainly to draw aggro. Alright, Golden Boy reloads. Needs to reload. And this could be a nice little hit. Fantastic hit. 10 points of damage. I love it. I absolutely do. Can we hit the guy downstairs? No, for whatever reason, there is no line of sight. The stump here seems to block it. Reloading with av Aviator. Get that guy down. Okay, very good. Very good. So that's one more down. Which leaves us with two Rippers and a few Infectors. We can't kill the Infectors. Not yet. I'm contemplating where, whether we might just go with the Rippers for now. Not the most flashy way of doing it, but still okay. Do we have a hair trigger here? No, it's just a stock. And that stock, 97% misses, but the stock kills uh, that little beast. Very good. All right, keep in mind we need one more civilian and then we can slow it down. There's the overwatch shot. Did not matter. Sell it to turret, still tanks. Love it. Very good. Eight protocol does his, uh, its job. It prevents a lot of damage, which is great. Unfortunately, at some point, the Selected Turret is going to go down. We're now down all of the turrets that we do have. But luckily, the A Protocol prevents uh, these little buggers from hitting us. We now have one Ripper. We're okay. We're okay. We're fine. We should have the cooldown for our second uh, aid protocol. That will uh, that way Tibet can continue to tank over here, and we gotta deal with both of the hunters downstairs. Correction: both of the hunters and one infector who just added. And of course it wouldn't be XCOM if there would not be additional enemies coming in. But the reinforcements are lower than the number of enemies that uh, we have dealt with previously. So as long as it keeps kind of that number of enemies, I'm content that with a little bit of counter healing, some clever positioning, we can very much survive. Okay, first things first. This guy needs to go down. And we can, could finish another hunter. Secondly, I think we're really that dual team standing here, not letting the enemies come closer. It's exactly what we need. Unfortunately, that was a miss. Reloading. No, we want that hunter to die. How many is that now? Need to reload. We do not have 
in eight protocol of this turn. I think we need to prioritize upstairs just for a bit, elsewise this might become a problem. Almost, almost down. Can we finish this guy? 80%, good enough. That's a kill. Timid can reload. Eventually crit and kill this chrysalid. Minor healing, minor healing, minor healing. That's not worth it. Rather reload. And try to get... Oh, we do have a stock, so that's a 100% kill. Down to two infectors and one ripper. Just trying to keep our positions here. We're seeing some of uh, the civilians die. Come on, miss. Yeah, that was a solid hit. Uh, that was a shredding, which is bad as well. Can't afford to lose our armor. And there's one last infector. Good. So only we only need to kill those uh, two guys, and then I'll take a break. This here is taking far too long. Oh, another hit. Continue. Luckily, we didn't waste any healing last turn because we needed this turn. Crazy if you think about the amount of. Chrysalis that we killed with relatively low ranking soldiers. This here is a decent introduction of how to deal with Chrysalis. Find a ledge. Make sure that you cluster up. Good, Aviator moves forward. Marks that guy, but unfortunately doesn't hit him. Last healing from Jarenx. We have two more healings after this from Shinrod, which is good. And we can kill the last two here. Thanks to the stock, that would be a 100% hit. Reloading. And... Should have, uh, should have just used the shot. But okay, whatever. That worked out well. Good. Cool. So I assume nothing happens. So I'll do a pause here. I'll be back in a second. More civilians are dying. We potentially need our, uh, our concealment sphere again. Just so that we can see what's ahead, scouting and maybe getting that last uh, civilian. We've killed at least 
at least 25 uh, chrysalids, but that doesn't mean a lot. Of, uh, a lot. We killed. There's definitely one chameleon still out somewhere. Uh, we killed two, three brood mothers, and a lot of infectors, which made up the bulk of the enemy forces. Good, that warrior will be our next target. Once our turn comes around. But yeah, pretty solid position. We lost a lot, but it's fine. Okay, I'll do a pause and I'll be back in a sec. Good. Back and time to get this going. Couple of uh, things. Can we reach any point where we could hit that guy? Unfortunately, the only shredding soldier aviator well no we do have a second one timbit here don't mind moving into the open because chrysalids don't care about cover to begin with Moving our sniper up. And moving aviator up. I still do have an option to hand over 8 protocol, which means aviator will get an overwatch shot. Alright, fair enough. That could shred. And we're overwatching. Now. Let's see, that's a 66%. That's a hit, like it. And that's a crit, good job. Don't need anyone else, apparently. Good, next turn will be really more about reloading and just resetting. Oh boy, those warriors are nasty by the way, if my memory serves me well, they were the ones in one of the missions that could uh, summon the gestation pit or whatever it was called. And then all of a sudden lots and lots and lots of aliens are going to spawn. Good, there are still exalted custodians out there so be careful. Speaking about which, we just hear them. And this is a perfect utilization of one of our remaining consumable items. The sphere that makes us invisible. Here we go. Refraction field. Timbert. Begins now. to scout out. Nothing yet. Moves closer, which is good. Reloading with Aviator. Aviator moves a tiny bit forward because I want that spot specifically for Wilson as the sharpshooter. Wilson reloads. Reload as well for Jaranks. Starting to move up. Reloading. Reload for Shinrod. Gone Boy moves up. And Shinrod moves up as well. Okay, cool. So far, so good. I don't think that they do have AoE damage. Well, the Custodians might, but we haven't been running into them yet. And all I need is one more civilian for this mission to at least be moderately successful. Then we can scale down the tempo. 
start using our sniper to deal with some of the problems that we do have. Good. Well, speaking about which... First and foremost, we do have secured the civilians. But that just looked like the custodians. Let's move already. And the one thing that I learned about these bad boys is don't F around with them. Shinrod moves forward, and we do have Jerangs slightly more in the back. Everybody is overwatching. All right, these little chrysalids are starting to kill every single of uh, the civilians, but it doesn't matter. Why exactly did you take a shot, dude? No one was seeing the custodians. There's another pack of chrysalids. We can't charge in. There is a pack of chrysalids here. And if they add on top of the custodians, we're done. It's not even close. Good, using Timid as a scout. There is the trap that they laid for us. Yep, that would trigger them. Right here. And Golden Boy moves back. I, if possible, I will uh, do not want to fight against the chrysalids. Let's do this. Shinrod gives himself a protocol for full cover. That gives him one overwatch shot. And then overwatches. Aviator overwatches. Not fighting the chrysalids. They are a problem. They definitely are a problem. The moment that they move and we have them inside, we're effectively pulling them. On the other hand, they might be pulled any moment whatsoever. I will do a compromise and do a pistol overwatch. That means uh, squad side is not going to trigger. Drenks has not enough hit points to boogie with anyone here.
Let's hope they are go uh, getting in, uh, going in the other direction. If not, we will spend the next two turns literally just trying to kill these little bastards. Sure, if given another uh, the threat assessment to our grenadier, and of course they are running into us. X -ray down. Overwatch killed one. And it is uh, uh, like it always is. One moment you think everything's okay, and then in the next moment, five chrysalids are standing right in your face. I am the harbinger of your ascendance. As long as there are a couple of civilians, he might have a few targets, so that's not too bad. That zombie is another problem. Wonderful. And I mean that absolutely ironically, because nothing is uh, good with that situation. Shinrod gets another potential overwatch. Threat assessment deployed. One hit point. Done. Did you see that one? Reload and let's start to hit these guys here. Luckily, with multiple pistol shots. Oh, really? Minimum damage he dodged. Good, we're reloading because we have taken quite a few shots. Keep that magazine fresh and filled. That prevents the spawn of another, another one of uh, these bastards. Here I come. Golden boy moves up, and let's. See. Kill that infector. Who's keeping score? Toss me some ammo. Could engage, but it would likely be deadly. So Timid is overwatch. keeping an overwatch for now. Killed almost all of the chrysalids. Uh, 
Last Overwatch. I'm up. Still up. Nicely hit with a critical strike. Miss, come on, miss. Yeah. Thank you. I'm all right. Our eight uh, protocol alteration spam has proven to be helpful. Good, now we do have a problem. That's the other custodian. He's standing right here. We saw the bulwark. Deal with the drones. There are many great positions, but unfortunately all of them would expose us to the guy that is standing right here. That's where the other the sodium is currently located. A mimic beacon would be fantastic. Anything really would be good. Half cover doesn't cut it against custodians. I've already learned that the hard way. Shinrod is moving slightly back. He takes the only shot that he can. He injures the chrysalid hunter. Thinking shot here might be an option. I tell you what, that's even worth a run and gun. Keeping the magazine topped up. Ranks is relatively low on hit points, so other people need to tank for now. Down to one HP. There we go. That's one down. Starting to shred and prepare the custody. Kill one. But that's likely not a good idea and this will not be a kill. Reload Overwatch will get there eventually. 
but this is not Timbit's turn. His damage is missing. But the second custody, if this guy, the Grandmaster, wouldn't be here, it would be fine. But that would have been Timbit's um, 14 points of damage. Yeah, I think we need to get away. This is not going to work. I tried. I really, really tried. the overwatch because he was still very healthy I think it's a Fyrick victory, maybe. All XCOM operatives are dead or MIA. I'm returning to base. So it officially has failed, but I think we at least got the, the civilians out, so that will account for some cash. Not sure if uh, it was our home uh, country, so per definition, that uh, should mean we're not losing it. I was really trying, if it would have been just for the custodies and uh, me having enough lead time, I could have get, gotten one of them down the and uh, with only the Advent Exalted uh, Grandmaster, that with six people focusing fire, I can see that happening, that the pack of seven hunters uh, that added on top of it just took all of our attention for two rounds in the meantime the custodies were already there could have maybe pulled further back just really all all the way into the backfield but yeah sucks man my personal threshold was the moment that i run out of health or lose one that uh, would have been it golden boy fought really well but the custodian dealt uh, so much damage and if you just look at it everybody had a lot of kills on this one and we were just running out of Hello, Commander. out of options here i haven't double checked the uh the uh, screen but i would have guessed it's I can double check the recording, but I would have guessed it's 30, 35 enemies that we killed. Oh no, it was not our home turf. Well, too bad. It is what it is. We'll get into back and we'll be able to make Avengers. new contact. Made for some good entertainment. X Axon Road is ready. Let's double check. Exo, by the way, could bond with. Now that's the double Grenadier bond, which we already didn't want. Yeah, and Jaranx can bond with uh, Vendieu 
And we didn't want that either. Alright, we got Shredder. Get a nice gifted... Uh, gifted uh, Grenadier. Yeah, why not? Let's give him two more hit points. Okay, so... Uh, that new Grenadier. Axe and Road. Uh, could have Blast Padding or Run and Gun. Both really good abilities. Both really good abilities. But I think for the time being... Let's use run and gun. It is more versatile. I can, I can use that aggressively. So we got one, two, three grenadiers. One, two rangers. Could use another one of these. One, two sharpshooters and two specialists. So we got an opening for a ranger. Last one, unfortunately, didn't uh, go so well. So Azizalk is going to fill that void. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Nice. Got some more intel. Great. And I somehow have spent the alloys and the crystals. Damn it. How did I forget to keep them safe? Alright, we'll get them. I just need to uh, get some more intel. And we'll purchase new ones. No worries, we'll eventually get the Custodian battle, uh, battle armor. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Greetings, Commander. Let's assign some research. We don't want more of that. I'll do, hmm, I'll do, nah, I want the exalted armor. And what we're going to do in the meantime, I already mentioned it, is We're going to actually research the coordinates, the brain coordinates. Fantastic. Training progresses nicely. Void Rift all the way. So... We don't have the supplies here. We could spend 160 intel, but I don't think that that is really necessary. I think we're okay on intel for now. But we also don't have anything better to do. Might as well scan for more. Good, that's fantastic. We finally got the swords that will make the katana even better, plus one damage. Now, we wanted to also destroy the uh, the bandits. Royal Rumble them out. Marauders here would be the next on our list. So let's do that. And use our B team in order to actually do something meaningful. 
The A team wants cannon is back, uh, should uh, go for another facility. So we got inappropriate Murphy here. Definitely, I'm torn between ammunition and a deployable turret. I think we'll give him the turret. That's not bad. Roby. The axe isn't bad either. The axe isn't bad either. Would be less hit points, but definitely more damage. Does he have Reaper? Not sure. Let's go with the shield for now, because the shields are quite good. And besides, in terms of plus aim, uh, I think we should give that to the Grenadier, so Zirkim in that case. Okay, cool. Roby. Zirkim gets the plus aim. And Zirkim is together with uh, Endors, who does have a deployable turret, so that's fine and a good weapon. I tell you what, two deployable turrets aren't wrong. The bandits are not really difficult, so might as well do that. That's the next faction which needs to go. Just double checking. 10 days. Yeah, you need to go onto a mission in between, so that's not going to work. We will get you in here afterwards, though. Good. All right, so time to get the next uh, faction out of the ring in the meantime we got a lot of training to do and in record time we decrypted uh, the codex nice one based on the most recent findings in the field the codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time however good we're apparently not immune to the we're now uh, continuing the main storyline there is our golden path mission 53 enemies <laughs> I'm not sure if I can finish this campaign. Wow, that's a monster mission. 53 enemies. Imagine what Waterworld is going to look like. Okay, so we got Pedocrito, which is research um, problems. Uh, we want to counter that. It says very difficult, but it's only 13 enemies, which tells me there is an um, Sectopod Prime in here. Advent Exalted Purge Archbishop doesn't help. Um... Okay, well, that's one option. 
The other one is letting Thunder Mountain advance. And another one is... Pfft, yeah, well, that's not going to be a problem. Okay, so we got ourselves to recover an item from an Advent Vehicle mission at our hands. Overall, we're actually doing two missions because we want another facility mission as well. Um, Prime team. Four Templar plus Shadow are ready. And we'll take on uh, the facility. And I think I can take that other mission with a little bit more rookie-ish team. I mean, two majors is not rookie-ish. Good, yeah, go with the Aviator. That's fantastic. That's a good bond. That's a good bond, mate. Lightly wounded. Might be able to put him and send him into combat even. But yeah, we would have Sharpshooter, Skirmisher, uh, Specialist. Potentially need to break that bond training and get that team together. Okay. Well, this is turning more into a long war-ish uh, campaign where I'm getting this massive roster and just trying to survive. 53 on the Golden Path mission. Holy shit, is that going to be a difficult mission? I can already foresee this is not going to be fun. Yeah, we're going to cancel this. You will get your bond eventually. We, have, we also need to have two power relays. There's no way around that. But yeah, we're going to do the facility and then afterwards uh, the other mission. And uh, that should be good to go. Right. Fantastic. Guys. If uh, you want to prevent the alien uh, facilities from being built, uh, you need to hit that like button because, uh, quite frankly, that's the only way of uh, stopping their onslaught. It's almost the delay of uh, the dark event button. Uh, they just call it like button here on YouTube. Anyways, press that and see you in the next uh, episode. Take care. Bye bye.